All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs. It might hit up a few pawn shops just like this one. Yeah. Last month we were here and we found a full set of Taylor Made Sim Maxes. That's pretty so awesome. That was pretty awesome. Let's see if we can uh, keep things rolling here, but never know what you're going to find. So let's go find it. Let's go find it. Got some Callaway X14 Pros. Oh, there's a uh, Callaway X14 regular one in there too. Combo set, combo set, yeah, probably the long iron is a uh, the regular Ooh, one, and then the pros. Oh no, <laughs> the seven iron is the regular. Huh. That's kind of goofy. That kind of kills the value of it. Yeah, How much weird. is it? Ninety nine bucks. Eh, it's not the greatest deal either yeah. way. If it was a uh, a full set of them, no Callaway uh, for us, and no uh, Taylor Made Sim Maxes for us today. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. We'll meet you at the next spot. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Let us know if you need to see anything. Do you guys have any golf clubs? No, we just took some in. Um, and it takes like 30, 30 days, days for it yeah. to hit the cool. floor, but I know we just took some in last week. Oh, yeah, really? we have a couple drivers, but that's about it. All right. Um, Yes, sir. Longwood sometimes has them. Sorry, okay. <laughs> R5, R5, R15, 59 bucks. It's actually a really good deal. Speeder shaft in there. That's the other I think it's a Tommy Armor Atomic. Oh, no, it's a Cobra Rail. The color it's only 19 bucks. Cobra T Rail, yeah. Sweet. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna see what we can do on these. Yeah. Do you know what the best you can do on these two is? Yeah. If you bring it in. Both of these just came out. I can take the tax off for you. Uh, sure, that works. Thank you. <laughs> thought I was going to smash the clubs into the uh, window there. That lady wanted to smash our heads into the uh, window there. She was not having a good day. No. Uh, but uh, the first lady was nice. But we got a uh, R15, 12 degrees, so a, a little bit higher launching. And then we also got a, a Cobra Baffler T-Rail Plus Light Flux. That would be uh, perfect for Ashley. Yep. What flex is this one? I didn't even uh, check. The deal was so good. M-Flex, so senior. You and my dad can fight over it. There you go. Or you, can just, hurts. you can just fight with that lady. <laughs> <There> you go. <laughs> Pawn shops going out of business. Everything must go. They still got a bunch of stuff in here. Golf clubs. We got a couple of Vokies. Uh, not tour issue, but still, this is like in really good condition. SM5 S grind. This one's got an Aldi Log VS uh, shaft in there. It's kind of goofy to see in a wedge. Yeah. What else you got down there? I thought it was the ping, like oh, hot the, dog. Butter. Isn't that the uh, tracks one? Yeah, it tracks. Yeah. Kind of looks like the plot putter. Mm -hmm. Those actually go for like 40 bucks. Kind of huh. funny. And there's like a ping one that kind of looks like this too, right? Yeah, there's yeah, a bunch yeah. of, yeah. Bunch of different goofy ones that look like that. You got a Cobra. How's it going? All right, thank you. Oh, it has a graphite shaft in it too. Huh. Graphite shafts and putters are a more modern thing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how much we can get for these uh, Vokies. Actually, I only want this one. That one's not in the best condition. Yeah. Cool. You want the uh, Trax putter? I think it's kind of even short for me though. You got the uh, whole Michelle Wee thing going. <laughs> A bit much. All right, we'll go see what we can do with this. Find something you need? Yeah. Do you know what the best you can do on this is? Uh, you paying cash? Yep. This one was mine. Oh, really? Yes, sir. You got any more of your own clubs? <laughs> I had a few other wedges. I oh, okay. had other one with those, but that needs to be re-gripped. Um, uh, do 45 cash. 45? Uh, is that 45 out the door? 45 cash out the door, yes, sir. Cool. Uh, yep, we can do that. All right, $45 out the door for a basically brand new, this was actually his club, the uh, Titleist uh, SM5 Vokey Wedge. It's got like basically no wear on it whatsoever. Still very shiny. Yeah, my dad go in my bag. Straight from the pawn shop owner's bag to mine. There you go. We'll meet you at the next spot. We have located the golf clubs. A pretty sweet uh, Ladies Wilson staff bag in here. Mm -hmm. What else do we got? We got to nail it, the hammer. <laughs> that one's pretty Lady interesting. Vantage McGregor. Old school Lady McGregor's. Weight so Watchers, we... the ultimate dance party. Oh man, I need that more than I need some golf clubs. <laughs> I think there's some more golf clubs over here. Okay. What do we got? What is this? Confidence Ironwood kind of looks like the uh, old school. Oh, look at this. We got an Adam's Idea uh, Forge Gap Wedge. Nice. 
it's kind of funny. I got overly excited about that, but I uh, played the uh, CB3s, it looked like it, but these are the uh, Pro uh, A12s. Not that anyone cares. <laughs> got some uh, Ping G2 knockoffs. Yep, I think we're going to get the uh, Adams Wedge. And there's a... Whoa! Oh, <laughs> take that out. <laughs> I told you I need to go on Weight Watchers. I'll bump it into everything. We got a uh, Wilson Fat Chef. That's what I was also excited about. Yeah. Lefty 3 iron. Got any more hidden about? Oh, there no. it. Just a golf club one. that I was overly excited about. That's the one. It kind of looks like the uh, Adam CC, the Chad Campbell uh, prototypes. I think this is the one that they actually made. Because oh. if you look at it, I'll throw up a picture like right here-ish. Kind of looks the same, except that's the black finish. Again, you don't care. We'll meet you <laughs> at the next spot. You're welcome. This Goodwill used to have hundreds of uh, golf clubs at a time. They uh, they do not anymore. They've got some uh, power builds over here. Got a Canon Spalding. Remember this place? We found so... Oh, look at that. I didn't see that. Yeah. Florida Gators bag. Yeah, they used to have a huge section. Yeah, they used to have like a whole section to it. How much are we going for? It's free. It's free. It's literally <laughs> misprinted somewhere else. Oh, I see. Oh, there's, there's a some... scorecard in here. Oh, you got the price? Yeah, it's all the back. Twelve ninety nine. We'll see what they uh, shot here. Mm, looks like only one person finished with a uh, eighty. See why they didn't finish? Oh yeah, Seth shot a sixty on the front nine. That's why he didn't finish. Makes sense. Wait, that was rude. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Seth. But uh, what do you think about this bag? Looks pretty good. Twelve ninety nine. I'll do well when we sell it at the uh, flea market. Mm -hmm. In Florida. Makes sense. Makes sense. There you go. We'll meet you at the next spot. Ping I-15, Ping I-25. Oh man, look at this. I think it's a uh, George Lowe. Wizard 600. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. There's, there's a, two burners in here. Oh, there's a Voki SM7. There's a lot of random single clubs yeah. in here. Uh, White Hot XG Putter, Mizuno. old Mizuno MP Series. What else we got? Get a uh, Vokey Callaway X26 Iron. This is like the jackpot of jackpots right here. Just single clubs. Yeah. What else we got? A uh, TaylorMade Rack OS, some Tour Edge HP25s. This is weird. Oh, here we go. We got an AP1 Pitching Wedge. Oh man, there's an Edelon wedge, or a uh, Dell wedge. That's what those are, a Dell. Those things are super expensive. Burner 4 hybrid. Is this this whole bag? I don't know. Night golf clubs. I don't know what's going on in there. Hopefully it's not, because I really want this putter. And that uh, Adele wedge, this thing's pretty sweet. Even this club alone. Yeah, the Burner 2.0. Oh, well, we'll see what we can do here. Do you know what the best you can do on that? Cause, like, yeah. I mean, these are basically- What you want to- well, what's no. your offer on it, man? Make me offer. To be honest, I'd probably be. Make me a reasonable offer. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> God, I mean, these are like 20 year old Walmart clubs, basically. <laughs> some of them. Right. There's some good ones in there, though. A lot of mixed you know, in on Just go in there, too. Okay. okay. Uh, can you do 200 out the door? Uh, I could do the 200 for you, but you gotta pay Uncle Sam 214. Okay. Um, and what's the best you can do on this guy? Let me see what it's You want to take that for the 200? Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I can eat the tax. Throw you out the door? That's fine. All right, folks. What a find there at the end. Yeah, Definitely. That was a fun day, but that was a hodgepodge of clubs at the end. Yeah, a hodgepodge of clubs, but there are a few clubs in there that we are super excited yes. about. We just got done trying everything out at the uh, driving range. So throw up some eBay comps and some uh, shot tracers, mm -hmm. but. Let's just get into it. Super excited about these ones. All right, let's go through everything that we got in the order that we got it. We're going to save one of the shot tracers to the end because Ashley absolutely killed the r I've been struggling with a slice and I think I finally fixed it. Yeah, <laughs> Ashley, the uh, world's greatest putter is now going to be the uh, world's greatest driver too. And I literally just did it there again. I called it the R500, uh, but it's yeah. the R15. That kind of dates me. The R510 uh, TP, one of my favorite clubs of all time. Mm -hmm. So I always get those all mixed up but uh, Ashley uh, killed that one yeah. and then we uh, got the uh, Cobra Baffler T-Rail which uh, I hit uh, pretty good needs a new grip on there so not a uh, crazy deal still a good club, still a good club for uh, sure and then uh, actually we don't need to go through in the order that we got it because I already forget got a lot. yeah we <laughs> got a I think we got this uh, Voki uh, SM5 uh, S grind at the uh, pawn shop that was either going out of business or moving or something like that personal club and I think he like barely used yeah he it. barely used it because I think is uh, in mint condition mm -hmm. there and then after that 
Yeah. I just said I wasn't going to do it in order. Now I'm trying to do <laughs> it in order. Trying. And then we got the uh, Adams uh, Pro A12. And I'm a big fan of the uh, Adams. If we ever find a full set of those or the uh, Adams CB lines, I like the uh, the black ones. Mm. Those ones are super the nice. Finish, yeah. yeah, the finish on them. They're not super soft, but they're uh, still pretty good. And uh, definitely a fan of those. Doesn't go for a crazy amount of money. And then I think we got the uh, Florida Gators bag. Yes which is uh, pretty cool. Sorry about Seth. I, I've totally made fun of his round, <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. I'm sure he had fun. Stuff. Yeah, that's the uh, whole point yes. of it. And uh, then we got, I think that's like the big deal after that, right? Yeah, I think it's the yeah, rest. Yeah, the rest. <laughs> but uh, that was crazy. It was $300 and then they, I think they get a, a lot of clubs in, so I didn't want to make a, a super uh, low ball offer because mm -hmm. we want to do business with them in the, uh, in the future. the tag was kind of confusing because it was for the night clubs, yeah. but then there was lots of other yeah, stuff. Yeah, the in tag there was $300 for night golf clubs. And I was like, well, this is weird. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we got some uh, good stuff in there to uh, say the least. The uh, highlights of it for me, at least, where this uh, this thing is amazing. Yes. The uh, Wizard 600, and this thing it goes for like four or five hundred dollars. That's what they're listed for on uh, eBay. They're going for a little bit less when they actually sell, like more like two or three hundred dollars. But you guys know that I'm a huge fan of the uh, Wilson 8802 style putters. Yeah, and I got confused when you said remake because I thought it'd be lower in value. Yeah, a lot of the times the original ones go for way more than the remakes, but I think this one was made with a lot higher end uh, materials. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely excited about that. And I putt really well with the uh, Wilson 8802 style putters except from four feet and within yeah it's still going to the collection yeah, i mean the the sweet spot of these things are literally the size of a dime so yep. my putting stroke isn't that good that we did not even see yeah i didn't even notice it in there this is the uh, jack nicholas uh response putter yep. and uh, this isn't the exact model that he used well obviously it's not his exact putter no. but this isn't even the model that he used to win the uh, 1986 uh, masters really similar though yeah really similar and funny story about that they're only going to make a, a couple hundred or maybe a thousand of uh, that putter mm -hmm. and then the day after he won the uh, masters they sold like five thousand of them or five thousand orders imagine, but yeah I've, i bet that like deteriorated the value kind yeah of this, it, it kind of diluted the uh, value yeah. but uh, if you miss a putt with that the uh <laughs> or the odyssey ping dock <laughs> the ping dock or odyssey uh, three ball you uh you should you could still play golf but maybe yes. stick to a uh, mini golf but uh <laughs> i think we also got this uh, adele wedge in there and these things have one of the uh, best sole grinds uh, on the uh, market they're super high end they're one of the uh, more expensive uh, wedges that you can find that and like the peretti wedges i think the peretti wedges are like 300 dollars brand new the adele wedges are like 200 uh, per but wedge, just crazy. yeah per wedge not just a set go yeah. get a uh, kirkland signature but it has yes. almost a <laughs> full face uh, grooves on there which is uh, way more popular now mm -hmm. and uh, as you can see i was hitting the ball all over the face you're having fun with yeah, it. Yeah, the uh, sole uh, grind makes you feel like you could hit every single shot. Some of you should not try it. Some of you can't try. Sometimes I just duck. With yeah, it. <laughs> and that is uh, overshadowing it uh, by eye. But we also got like four uh, Vokis. Yes. Was that proper English? Not really. That was kind of. Yeah, we got a, uh, a Voki SM7 over here. And then we got a uh, Bob Voki, Voki Design. I think those are called, there's, <laughs> I always forget what these are called. It's just the, the BV, yeah, Bob BV. Voki. Yeah. But they're like pre-spin mill. So I, I forget what they're called. Mm -hmm. But uh, SM5. Yeah, another SM5 Still over there. And then. And, uh, yeah, that's the one we got before. And then we got a bunch of uh, loose irons in here that basically they're kind of annoying to uh, sell that way, but there's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of uh, golf clubs in here. Yes. We got a, a Ping I-25, a Ping I-15. We got another Ping I-25. We got a Burner XD. We got a, a Big Bertha uh, two iron, which actually, what is that? styrofoam attached to me we'll pick that up <laughs> yes. but uh big bertha two iron which uh, actually goes for uh not a ton of money but a lot of people are using these instead of uh, driving irons because the driving iron prices are insane and right now just as good and easier to hit yeah they're very easy uh, to hit and the more budget friendly definitely uh, more budget uh, friendly we got the full set of nightclubs like i said even yeah. driver all the way down to the uh, pitching wedge mm -hmm. and then we got this voltage putter which is the uh the holy grail of the uh, whole set yeah. and then we got some uh, burner 2.0s we got the uh, burner 2.0 six iron and that's a uh, very good uh club we found those sets um they actually if you find a full set of them they're worth like three or four hundred dollars they're yeah. kind of like the uh, ping like g15s or g30s they mm -hmm. hold their value really, really well yeah super easy to hit we got another burner 2.0 over here we got a uh, tailor made ghost putter we got a uh, another uh tailor made burner a Titleist, uh, oh yeah Titleist ap1 when I'm you forget sure about more in here too. yeah when you forget about a uh, Titleist ap1 yeah. you know it's a good day but uh that was a lot yeah but uh, ashley's a uh, shot tracer coming up also coming up, we're going to announce the uh, winner of the uh, giveaway. But since it kind of like happened over uh, a weekend yeah, with well, a bunch of holidays and time, yeah. you probably were watching Jordan Spieth uh, win or maybe some basketball. Probably. But I uh, hope you guys will. So, yeah, basically, we're going to announce the uh, winner of the giveaway in the future. Yes. There's already 2000 people who entered. So, yes, but this was a good video. Yeah, it was a good video. We won't uh, like spoil it. No. There's a lot of good things that we found. We've been on a roll lately. A roll lately for uh, sure. But hope you guys did like this video. If you did like, and subscribe and, and we'll see, you next time. see you next time, guys. Ashley Shot Chaser popping up now. Bye guys.